Hi! This video is going to take you through the steps of using the search tools in the new IMF2 map viewer available on Mineral Titles Online. As an example, we are going to search for reserves. Searching for cells or titles, other popular tasks, follow similar steps and are covered in separate video. First, what is a reserve? A reserve may be established for a number of reasons, as listed in Section 22.2 of the Mineral Tenure Act and Section 21.2 of the Coal Act, but the most common are to either prohibit registration of a claim or to restrict rights acquired. There are two types of reserves, the No Registration Reserves and Conditional Reserves. A No Registration Reserve prohibits the acquisition of a mineral and or placer claim, and a Conditional Reserve stipulates the specific conditions or restrictions which apply to a claim registered within the reserve. Now, how do I search for reserve? The first step is to go to our website at www.mtonline.gov.bc.ca. Here you will notice two columns of map viewer options. On the left, the Common Web Mapping, or CWM, map viewer options, and on the right, the IMF2, or Internet Mapping Framework 2, map viewer options. At this time, the CWM platform is ideal if you know the site number you are interested in and have queried it through the MTO site search. This same site search will give you a link back to the CWM map viewer with the site highlighted. However, reserves cannot be searched for directly from the CWM map viewer, so we suggest using the IMF2 map viewer. In this map viewer, you can search for current reserves and historical reserves. Reserves can be, both, can be mineral, placer, coal, or any combination. Ensure you open the map viewer for the type of reserve you wish to search. In this example, we're going to search for mineral reserves. The following part of the video will cover how to search for a specific site. In this case, the site we already know the site number ID, but you could be searching for a claim or past claim to see when it expires, for example. So I'm going to navigate to the Search Mining tab and then to the Mineral Reserves option. I'm going to punch in the site number ID that I know of right now. If you notice, when I start typing the number, there is a drop-down menu of different options that they are suggesting to you. So here I know the exact site number, and I'll choose the No Filter option, which is the default, and click Search. The filter gives you an extent of what to search within. So here by clicking, clicking the default, I search the whole entire map. You'll notice that in the extent of the viewer, we now have the reserve highlighted in the middle with the mineral reserve and the site number here on the side. Now if I want to find more information out about this particular site, I just click on it on the, le in the left panel, and then I have the list of all the information I want to know. Now if this panel is too small, we can also show the expanded view, and then it comes down here, click this little maximize arrow, and we have all the information. Now I'm going to bring that back to a compact view, and I can also show you the hyperlink here that brings you to the Mineral Titles Online website and the information that's kept on this file here. I close that down, I'll shut back, and I'll go back to the search. So I'm going to type in the number again. And this time, instead of choosing the default filter, I will choose the Capture Geometry filter. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here from the map. And the Capture Geometry uh, it gives you the option to search within a shape. So we have four different shapes. We have the point, polyline, polygon, and rectangle. In this case, I'm going to select a rectangle, select over this whole area, and it's going to search within that rectangle whether or not the site number that I'm looking for is around. Useful for when you're trying to search a specific area for a specific uh, title. Now, if I want to look at the legend to see what kind of representation each layer has, I just have to go to the Basic Tools tab, select My Layer, and in our case, we're looking at reserves. So I go into the Mineral Titles layer, and then more specifically into the legend part of the Mineral Reserves, and here I can see what they're symbolized by. Now, that is everything for how to find a reserve using the IMF2 map viewer on Mineral Titles Online. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can reach us at 1-866-616-4999 in between the hours of 8.30 and noon and 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or you can reach us by email at mineral.titles at gov.bc.ca. Thank you for watching.